Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Stereo versus surround sound. How does it all work? I mean, I understand you have two sources here. It's stereo, right? Mm -hmm. Right and left. But surround sound, how do they, you know, well, just adding sources? To so it? how many ears do you have? Two. So why do you need more than two speakers? That's what I'm saying. I mean, stereo seems to work just fine. So surround sound uses either 5.1 or 7.1 or quadraphonic if you grew up in the 70s, um, and increases the number of speakers. And the idea is that there's what's called the Doppler effect, where a audio di at, at one point is different from... From, from the other. Okay. And so you can detect whether things are behind you or ahead of you based on how the sound enters your ear canal. You also add in surround sound just typically that 0.1, which means plus subwoofer. And that helps with the sound separation. So what happens is the speakers that are medium-sized or small can de generate the mid-tones and the highs, but can't give you that thump, thump, thump that the subwoofer offers. So that's one of the biggest differences, is the addition of that subwoofer. But it's also really about giving you positioning information so that the TIE fighter can come from behind as opposed to ahead of you. And hearing the sounds go from the front right to the rear left so that you get that nice Doppler effect of, boy, that bullet just whizzed past my head. But the, the source has to have that information encoded within it. Right. Now, there are up-converting techniques that come in a lot of the receivers. So the receiver that we picked out for you has neo-cinematic and neo-musical. And what it does is it goes the opposite way. It listens to the sounds before it plays them and says, based on what it looks like for a Doppler effect, this was coming from the front to the back or from the back to the front. How would it know? It, there's, because have you ever stood next to the highway and a semi-truck's coming at you? And when it, it's coming at you, the sound gets higher and higher and higher. And as the sound goes, the truck goes away from you, it starts getting lower and lower and lower, which is the reason you have that Mm. Right. kind of noise. And that's because of the Doppler effect. And so basically the circuit listens to a segment of the music and determines the positioning based on that. Hmm. That's interesting. So could you have a, you could have a 2.1 speaker. Mm -hmm. Would that just be stereo plus subwoofer? Stereo plus subwoofer. And that's real common because it's real easy to say everything below 60 hertz is going to the subwoofer and everything above 60 hertz is going to the two primary speakers. So then, what if your computer has, let's say, support for uh, with uh, I've heard it called like Toslink, uh, like an optical. Yep. Is, does that send the signal to your speakers? Five point one, seven point one, eighty four point. It's just a cable, so it doesn't do anything. Right. If, if cable, right. It's capable of sending ten point two. Okay. Ten channels plus two subwoofers. Right. Nobody uses it for that. Right. But it could do it. So if you have stereo music, Toslink is still stereo. And if you've got 5.1 with a Toslink cable to two speakers, you still have stereo. Or you may have some crappy thing where you're only getting the left and right of the six possible. But the cable doesn't really matter. I mean, it may have limitations. You can't push 5.1 over a stereo cable. You know, the eighth right, inch, you would need, eighth well, inch you tube need conductor. Many, right. So you'd need three of those so that you could have 5.1, six speakers off. Or an optical. Or an optical okay. or a digital coax or a number of different connections, but yeah.